What's up guys, this is Elias here at The New Foundation Chicago. We're in Roscoe Village. You can find uh, info about us at foundationchicago.com. Check us out there. But we're here in Chicago, Illinois in the Roscoe Village neighborhood and sorry it's been so long. Uh, I've not been giving this video page as much attention as I've wanted this, uh, this past summer and largely just because I've been so busy. We opened up a new location here for the Academy in Roscoe Village and uh, we've been competing a lot, uh, preparing a lot of the teammates to compete. I'm hosting seminars, other events. Uh, we have people competing this upcoming weekend. It's been really, really busy. It's been really, really good, uh, thank God. Uh, but this fall, this winter, we're gonna be putting at least one video out a week. Here's, here's the first one. Um, it's actually a continuation of uh, videos we put out in the spring, spring of 2018. I did a phase one and phase two drill video that I had put out. Um, I think I, it's something that you check on the page if you look for turning your opponent's knee shield defense into a heel hook or into heel hook opportunities, there's phase one, there's phase two. Phase one uh, basically is a setup from uh, to enter um, a kind of like a single X guard position from, from your butt or your back um, when your opponent is using a really frustrating knee shield. And uh, phase two is transitioning um, from different leg laces once you're in that, that single leg and, and moving the, the opponent's leg inside, outside, going, uh, crossing your legs in different positions in relation to them, outside, inside, 50-50, 50-100, kind of inside uh, honey hole, th those types of situations. So phase one is entering it and phase two is, is moving uh, your own legs and your opponent's legs in different positions which will give you different options and those are all kind of like likely scenarios that we often see or feel in practice or in in, uh, in competition scenarios so we went through that we're revisiting that because a friend of mine andy burke a phenomenal black belt and elite level submission grappling competitor uh global level international uh international level submission grappler competitor, Andy Burke out of San Diego. He saw the videos, he was kind enough to hit me up, we were chatting about it, and um, he was like, hey, you know, I like that, but here's what I do differently, uh, which is a really nice way of saying, here's how you can do it a little bit better, which I, I really welcome. I have a lot of respect for, for Andy, and Andy was nice enough to, uh, in, his, in his academy, and Victory out in San Diego, uh, where he teaches and trains, he put together two videos, uh, spinning off of the videos we made here, the Foundation Chicago, uh, Build Your Foundation, um, MMA, YouTube channel videos that we put on. Um, so if you look, this video right now that's about to, I'm gonna cut to Andy and his, uh, his student in a second, and that's gonna be what he's referencing, if you look in our other videos, is referencing as our phase one drill of, of turning your opponent's knee shield defense to heel hook opportunities. So this video is talking about that video. Check out what uh, we did, if you haven't seen him, and then check out what Andy uh, does differently. Really, really interesting. Some really cool details that he breaks down on entering into a heel hook when your opponent has a frustrating knee shield defense. He definitely does things differently than I was doing, and he's he's a way, way better uh, submission grappler and especially um, leg locker than I am. So I'm taking careful note of it. I've been studying up on it. Been meaning to put these videos up for a long time. Really happy to do it. Check him out, Andy Burke, um, on YouTube. You see a lot of his competitions. Check him out at Victory MMA in San Diego, uh, where he trains under Dean Lister. Phenomenal gym there, phenomenal group of people, and Andy himself is, is really, really great. So enjoy the video. Leave any comments with your observations or any questions you have or anything you'd like to see us do next. Thanks, guys. Cool. Has it here for our knee slice. Come in for the knee slice, he puts that knee shield, right? Put the heavy weight on my thigh to keep his thigh compressed. I'm leaning onto his, the leg I'm attacking. Right? What I noticed in your video is you bring this outside foot to his far leg. I like to bring my outside foot, I'm gonna replace it with the leg that's already on, him, <coughs> on his thigh. So I'm gonna switch through and step this foot up. That way I have both hips controlled. Right? That way when I fall back, I'm just gonna grab the knee, put my foot on his hip, Sit back into this foot lock position. Right? Obviously going straight for the heel or the straight ankle, whichever one we prefer. Why I don't like to jump to that far hip and come into this position is I give this leg free reign to either kick me off, push me away. You can also use it to put on the ground, stand up and turn to the earth. Right? So when you get into this knee slice and knee shield position, when I step through and go in for it, 
right? Plant in and step and land on that bottom leg. That way, he can't go anywhere right now. I grab the knee, put my foot on the hip and fall back. And I'm having both legs control. Right? So if he tries to stand up and turn and burn, and he picked his leg out, he doesn't go anywhere. He's still finished. Right? And it gives me a lot more time to transition here. Right? If I'm sitting here, I can still pass if I don't want to go for that leg lock. Right? I can still hit back on the passes. Where if I jump into this here, I have no more transition to my passes. I'm falling in and committing to this football. So, recap. Come into this knee slice, the knee shields. Right? I'm just going to switch my legs, keeping control on the bottom leg. That way I still have my passes if I want to pass. Or I can grab my knee, fall back, control the bottom leg.